That breaking news from southwest Detroit, where police are at the scene of a multi-vehicle crash. We're hearing at least nine vehicles are involved, and that's where we'll find 7 Action News reporter Naya Hardin. She's live on the scene. Naya, anyone injured seriously in this crash? Well, Anne-Marie, I did reach out to Michigan State Police waiting to hear back from them about that. Hopefully they'll be able to let us know soon, especially when we're looking at what happened here. I want to show you this is on I-75 and I'm going to step out of the way. This is northbound I-75 near Clark. You can see right here cars are starting to move a little bit faster now because they've opened up a few more lanes. But if you look to the far left, you will see they still have two lanes blocked off. And you also see about five cars that are being put on tow beds. Now, a few of them have already been towed away. Like you said, there were nine vehicles involved in this crash, and you could take a look and zoom in, seeing some of that damage there. Uh, I'm looking at tires that have popped off the cars. I'm seeing there is damage to the rear backside of one of those SUVs. It's hard to see because it's still a little bit dark out here, but I can tell you if you look the other way and if our photojournalist doesn't mind turning this way so you can see what the traffic is looking like right now, uh, you can see it's backed up and I want to tell you right now uh, we don't know exactly what happened, but one lady she was here to check on her brother who was involved in this accident. She tells us what she heard. Take a listen. He said that it was raining and you couldn't hardly see because of the rain was coming down and and she hit a puddle and she spent around and caused the accident. So once again, uh, like I said, we are still waiting to find out more information information from Michigan State Police. But in the meantime, we're going to send it over to Amory because Amory, like I just showed them right now, traffic is still pretty bad over here on I-75 near Clark.